Hey, this is Aaron, and today I'm sitting in a 2021 Lexus ES250. Uh, the 250 is new in the Lexus lineup. Uh, it is the ES, just like the other, like the ES350 and other sedans, uh, but this one is a four-cylinder model. So the ES250 is brand new this year. Uh, that 2.5 liter four cylinder has an eight speed automatic transmission and produces 203 horsepower. Not horrible. It's a little sluggish, I will say that. It's not dead. Uh, it will get in a hurry, but it will take a minute to do that. It's just, it doesn't like to downshift. It doesn't like to get uh, to get going really fast, even in sport mode. So that's kind of a downer. Uh, but it is a huge, spacious sedan. It has a very smooth ride, which is a Lexus quality. So you'll have just a, a smooth move down the road. Uh, the transmission is generally unobtrusive. Unless you push the pedal hard, you are not going to notice any shifting. It's just going to happen. It's nice and even. It's a very comfortable interior. That's what Lexus is known for, these beautiful interiors. Uh, it's just a, a, a nice, nice feel. Good ride. All-wheel drive is standard in the ES250. That's a big bonus. It's not just for all weather. It, it also balances the car a little bit. It's part of that smooth ride I talked about. It just makes it feel more capable despite the engine. <laughs> so I just have to say the acceleration is very boring. Uh, another down, down, downer is that uh, this still has Lexus infotainment, which is just horrible. Uh, there's no nice way to put it. It's terrible. Um, you have this this touch this touchpad thing, and then instead of a mouse moving around the screen, it just jumps around all the menu options. Uh, it's very hard to use when you're in the car moving, uh, and it's still annoying and almost painful when uh, the car is parked. So just not good in any way. Um, you'll just have to get used to using the... Uh, the voice activation button on the steering wheel uh, and try to walk through those menus as, uh, anyway uh, instead because they're just uh, and even that I mean you know <laughs> yeah there's there's nothing good to say about the infotainment in this car sorry another small downer is that the rear seats do not fold down uh, to give you more space for through from the trunk but on the upside the trunk in this car is huge. It holds a lot of stuff. It is very big. It's much bigger than the car itself would seem to accommodate. Uh, just nicely done there. Um, you know, Lexus is pretty good about designing interiors and they did a very good job of maximizing the cargo space for this car. Lexus Safety System Plus 2.0 is standard across the ES lineup, standard in this car. Uh, so that means you have crash mitigation and a bunch of other stuff. Very, very nice. Um, that's a nice upside as well. At $52,000, this is actually a really, really well-equipped car. So uh, I would not, I would not knock this. I would not call this expensive at all. Uh, this is a very well-priced car for what you're getting. Uh, if you want a sports sedan, probably ought to go somewhere else. Uh, if you want a, uh, and maybe even upgrade to the 350, but the 350 still is only marginally sporty. Uh, you're really going to have to go to the Germans if you want a true sports sedan. But uh, other than that, this is a wonderful car. Very comfortable, well-priced, feels really good and uh, they did a pretty good job. There's a couple of complaints that I have, but if you don't care, if all you do with the infotainment is answer phone calls and change, uh, change the stations once in a while, you'll be happy with it, it's just fine. Um, and if you don't need a seriously sporty car, you just wanna feel comfortable going down the road uh, and confident, then here you go, this is a great choice. So that's what I got. This has been Aaron, sitting in the 2021 Lexus ES250. Talk to you again soon.